Recently, the Adani Group announced that it has entered into a partnership with Total Energies of France to jointly develop the green hydrogen ecosystem. Gautam Adani's group will invest $50 billion over the next 10 years on green hydrogen projects. Their ambition? Green hydrogen production capacity of 1 million tonne per annum before 2030 and to become, and I quote, largest green hydrogen player in the world. But Adani Group is not the only one to be upbeat about green hydrogen. Reliance Industries is investing rupees 75,000 crores over the next three years to build a new clean energy business. Engineering major Larsen and Tubro, renewable energy company Renew Power are among the many private sector companies that are looking to invest in this space. The list is long and even public sector companies like NTPC, BPCL, and Indian Oil Corporation have announced their entry into this space. So what exactly is green hydrogen? And why has it caught everyone's attention? To understand this, let's rewind to Independence Day, August 15, 2021. Green hydrogen ke ke lakshi ke liye, is ki mein, National हाइड्रोजन मिशन की घोषणा कर रहा हूं अमृत काल में हमें भारत को ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन के प्रोडक्शन और एक्सपोर्ट का ग्लोबल हब बनाना है दिस वाज द फर्स्ट टाइम ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन एंड द नेशनल हाइड्रोजन मिशन गॉट इंक्लूडेड इन द नेशनल नैरेटिव ऑफ क्लीन एनर्जी सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन you may remember reading in school books that hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. But pure or elemental hydrogen is really a very scarce resource. It almost always exists in compounds like with oxygen to form H2O or water. Remember reading about electrolysis in chemistry? When electric current is passed through water, it splits it into elemental oxygen and hydrogen through electrolysis. And if the electricity used for this process comes from a renewable source like wind or solar, what you have is green hydrogen. So if you hear other colors attached to hydrogen, it only refers to the source of electricity used in the process of electrolysis. For instance, if coal is used, we get brown hydrogen. This hydrogen is a great source of energy because of its high energy content per unit of weight which is why it is used as rocket fuel. And green hydrogen in particular is one of the cleanest sources of energy with close to zero emissions. It can be used in fuel cells for cars or in energy guzzling industries like fertilizers and steel manufacturing. To encourage the green hydrogen industry, the government on February 17th announced the first part of the national green hydrogen policy. Among other things, in order to boost the green hydrogen sector in the country, the government said it will allow free power transmission to renewable energy units set up by green hydrogen producers and allow power banking facilities for 30 days. The second round of the policy is expected to announce economic incentives to boost the sector. But while the wait is on, companies are gearing up. Here's a look at some of the industry heavyweights who have already announced plans to enter the green hydrogen space. Reliance Industries aims to be a net carbon neutral company by 2035. It has plans of investing 75,000 crore rupees on clean energy business. And green hydrogen will play an integral role in that. It has also invested $50 million in US-based energy storage company Ambri. It has also acquired a Norwegian solar equipment maker, REC Solar Holdings, and has a 40% stake now in a renewable project specialist company, Sterling & Wilson Solar. All this could be a support for the green hydrogen business going ahead. Reliance also aims to be one of the largest producers of blue hydrogen globally by using petroleum coke. Efforts are on globally to make green hydrogen the most affordable fuel by bringing down its cost to initially under $2 per kilogram. And India has always set and achieved even more audacious and impossible goals. And I am sure that India can set 
even more aggressive target of achieving $1 per kilogram within a decade. This will make India the first country globally to achieve $1 per kilogram of hydrogen in one decade, the 111 target for green hydrogen. Adani Group. Apart from the plans to invest $50 billion over the next 10 years on green hydrogen project with total of France, Adani Group has also signed a non-binding pact with Nasdaq-listed Ballard Power System to evaluate a joint venture for investment in commercial production of green hydrogen fuel cells for various mobility and industrial applications in India. Hydrogen is the trigger for the smarter use of other renewables by becoming the long-term transport and distributed storage solution for electricity. It is the key link in the energy transition journey that along with the wind and solar will stabilize decentralized power generation. Oil India Limited. The state-run oil exploration and production company Oil India Limited commissioned India's first 99.999% pure green hydrogen plant in Assam in April this year. Indian Oil Corporation. The company plans to convert grey hydrogen at its Mathura and Panipat plants into green hydrogen by 2030. The company also has in principle approval for an investment of Rs 100 crore for setting up a green hydrogen fuel infrastructure unit at Kochi and Tiruvananthapuram as a pilot project. In fact, Indian Oil Corporation has tied up with Larsen and & Tubro and Renew Power to jointly develop green hydrogen projects in India. Larsen & Tubro Larsen & Tubro separately has also signed a pact with Norway-based electrolyzer and technology manufacturing company Hydrogen Pro AS to set up a unit in India. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited The PSU has collaborated with Bhaba Atomic Research Centre to work on alkaline electrolyzer technology for green hydrogen production. The company aims to scale up the production of electrolyzers for commercial use, especially in refineries. NTPC the state-run power utility backed the country's first hydrogen microgrid project at its Simhadri plant in Andhra Pradesh. The company has also set up India's first green hydrogen fueling station in Leh Ladakh. The green hydrogen revolution could be a big game-changer for the world as energy prices continue soaring and energy demand continues to be robust. For India, it could be a sure and clean way to ensure energy security. I'm Rachita Prasad and for more such updates, stay tuned to Money Control.